All right, you stay there. I figured it's safer to start my vlog in the car since there's a lot of people, a lot of noise outside. And I just wanted to give you a brief introduction. You're perfectly placed right now. Oh, I can't believe it. I kind of want to stay here. Okay, so hello beautiful people. What are we doing? I had like a different idea for this video, but then I changed my mind because I wasn't feeling like doing the other one. So rambling, sorry. We're going to try some ice cream. That's what we're doing. Yes, ice cream. And in particular, I'm in the Trastevere neighborhood and I want to go and look for the weirdest ice cream flavors that I can find around here. I know there are a ton more ice cream places or gelaterie in Italian, but we're here. So we're going to start from here and we're going to, I already have a couple in mind, but I'm going to walk and see from the outside the list of flavors and, and see and just gonna we're gonna wing it whenever we find something that sparks our interest we're gonna go in and try some ice cream now the only dumb choice I made is that um, I'm doing this like it's afternoon right now it's about 4 30 and I have a family birthday party dinner later today so I'm probably gonna be way like full before I even get at my to my grandma's house scan this QR code you have today's flavors and then these are the prices and then the opening times for the summer This is the size of the ice cream. They had gluten-free cone, which I'm so very happy about. And I'm gonna try it out. Let's see what it tastes like. I just want to find a quiet spot where I can film without having too many people in the frame. So, thing about me, I will always get whipped cream if they have it, because I think no gelato is complete without whipped cream. And everyone tastes different. This one is good. It's not too sweet, which is not a bad thing. Um, and I like the consistency, so that's a yes for me. Okay, let's talk about this avocado because it's so freaking good. It really tastes like avocado for like milkshake. Oops, dog fight. The one with olive oil uh, and almonds. You cannot really taste the olive oil, but it's good. It, it's interesting, but I wouldn't say it's very, very strange. And when I asked the lady, I was like, what's the weirdest? Um, ice cream flavor that you have what would you recommend and she straight away said avocado so it was like okay avocado is a weird one I don't know well you, you clearly surely you won't find it in many places in Rome but I don't know avocado is not a weird thing it just tastes like avocado milkshake it's good I like it it's so lovely to just sit here and do some people watching in Trastevere because they're not they're like right now it's not too many going on here they're building benches look at that these are new so you can see how the bar di San Calisto which is this one that you see it's already full but at night it's double or three times the people that you see now this is also new the graffiti for many reasons and these walls are one of them I just love alleys and green in it and the old doors and I don't know it's just it's also the vibes to it that I just really enjoy again just like with Bar San Callista at night you'll find the square full of people go to our next ice cream place we have to cross the bridge to go to the other side of the river Please, please, please wait for the light 
to be green. It's very important here especially, everywhere, but here especially. So over here, alongside the river, they are setting up all the stands because during summer there are like these tents that have music, they sell different kind of things, there's food, drinks, so it's just like nice to walk all the way to the next bridge and even like farther. We are in Via di Pettinari to go to our next spot. because they have a little counter inside with chairs it literally just like four places for seats but if it's empty like it is now because it's two women you can just chill for a little bit here I'm really curious to try Pinot Mugo oh my god Pinot Mugo è assurdo buonissimo I don't have any more hands so I'm trying to put you guys down somewhere why do I never bring a tripod and then I always regret it? That's just like the story of my life. Okay, let's try chocolate. Oh my god. Okay, it's subtle. The blue cheese is very subtle. You can almost taste it. At the end, everyone's looking at me right now. It's melting a bit more than the other one, which I don't prefer. It's literally dripping in my hand right now. Why did I not stay inside? You gotta have whipped cream always. So this pine flavor tastes like mint. Like when you eat like a mint. It's it's insane. I didn't even know it was possible to make a, an ice cream flavor so fresh. Now that I'm used to the flavor, I almost wish that there was more blue cheese in the chocolate one. But that's also me because I love uh, sweet and savory together like pairings uh, like salted caramel these kind of things but not pineapple and pizza good Gunther is approved to Gunther or Gunther I'm not even sure now the only problem is that after I eat something sweet for a little bit like I did now I had two ice creams I'm surprised with myself um, I'm kind of craving something savory problem is when you're gluten free you don't have many options for savory on the go. Uh, I know a place, oh actually you saw the place, it's a place that I went to uh, in one of my previous vlogs, you will find it, I'll link it somewhere, um, and it's right over there, I could go there, but then I won't be able to get a third ice cream and also have the dinner, so maybe that's so smart. Thank Rome for free water pretty much everywhere you go. using the holy church Jesus Christ alright, I, I cannot keep eating gelato today I think I almost reached my limit it's melting okay, give me one sec so I was walking and I saw outside that they had as the flavors of the day they had pesto and pistacchio which is different from pistacchio because pesto is usually something that you use to like, you put it on your pasta so you have to keep eating it or gonna melt in my hands um, and so it's supposed to be supposed to be more savory than regular pistachio flavor so I was curious to try it out it is it is honestly it is more salty but I wouldn't say it's like a weird flavor and the other one is just caramel with salted peanuts which is good overall this is probably my least favorite out of the three because I, I find it a bit more watery. I'm trying 
and go to to go to the next like last gelato place for today last gelateria for the day if it's open it should be but i've never been there and i'm just curious to check it out and i'm gonna ask them to possibly like only have the tiniest amount of ice cream just to try it out This is the gelateria, it's called Fonte della Salute and as apparently it's been here since 1981 so let's go check it out So, they were not very chatty I'm going to take two Three. Here it is, that's the gelato. They were not very chatty, but I got um, apple and cinnamon and ricotta and pears. Nothing too special, like too weird, but I was curious to try some of their fruit uh, flavors. I should make a Siri about impossible places to put your phone on. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I already tried apple and cinnamon and that consistency will never focus but that consistency is more like of um, granita it's very chunky so if you don't like chunky um, and more like almost like frozen fruit kind of thing it's the flavor it's really it's really there like you can both taste the apples and the cinnamon equally and it's really good ricotta e pere so ricotta cheese and pears is really good as well it is obviously because there's a ricotta it's more creamy right so it has not the same consistency it will not focus it's a front camera of a phone what do i expect it's really good now the people of the pharmacy that i'm filming on because this is their like uh window i'm filming like on it and they're looking at me it's so fun. Okay, let's move. I can't believe I'm eating my fourth gelato of the afternoon. I'm never gonna eat tonight. Nona will be pissed. Um, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But she will insist. You know Italian grandmas. By the way, this reminds me that uh, since gelato is expensive, if you want to contribute to the creation of these videos, I have a PayPal where you can donate any amount. Even just one euro is fine if you feel like it's a symbolic gesture i mean gesture too i mean i love if you want to donate more i'd love you forever um but if you still want to do a little something for the channel and you i mean do what you can if you feel like thank you one of the problems with this city is that as easy as it is to find water everywhere free and fresh and how much you want it's almost impossible to find a trash can so i've been walking around with melted ice cream in my hand for 10 minutes now and I did not find a single trash can till now finally found one and it's like an oasis in the desert kind of feeling I don't like wasting food of course like I don't think anyone does but also literally I am literally exploding from ice cream right now and I was taught I think it really boils down to education I was taught since a very young age to never like force my body to eat when I don't want to um, which is something very common in Italy like most people I know will force themselves to finish something even if they're full and they can't take any, any more can't take it anymore because it's it's I mean it's obviously bad to waste food nobody wants that but at the same time I think it's really important to listen to your body so it's, it's a balance like with everything you gotta find a balance I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. 